how are we? Um, it has been a minute, but I am back and I am more importantly back in Scotland. I moved up in March, so just before the pandemic hit, which is, I guess, good timing and also not so good. The main reason I moved back is for a new job, but also because I wanted to get back creating content and making videos again, which I'm really excited about. Um, my videos are going to not just be golf stuff, um, it's just going to be pretty much everything that I think that I want to create content about, specifically about Scotland. I really want to showcase this beautiful country that I live in and there's a long list of things that I want to tick off, starting with climbing a Munro, which I'm doing tomorrow. Um, for the people who don't know, a Munro is basically a Scottish mountain. Um, I think it has to be over 3,000 feet. So I'm doing that for the first time ever tomorrow and I'm really excited about it. I'm a little bit delirious as it is 11.30 I think right now and I'm getting picked up at 6am. But I, my bag's packed, um, I've got my boots looked out and I'm excited to take you guys with me. It is 8am and we have just arrived at the start of our climb. We are at Three Sisters Car Park, which is about an hour and 40 minutes away from Glasgow. The Monroe we're doing is called Birian Nam Bian, which I hope I'm saying right. It's actually two Monroes, so two for the price of one. And it's we're hopefully going to see the Hidden Valley of Glencoe. So yeah, let's get going. unreal. I'm just hoping the clouds are going to pass and we're going to have the most amazing view from the top. We've done about 800 metres. That's where we're headed. Um, you can't really see the top at all at the moment, but fingers crossed the clouds will get a shifty on and it will be a stunning view from the top. It is starting to rain pretty heavy now, but yeah, there are 282 Munros in Scotland and there's a thing called Munro bagging, which is a very Scottish thing. And there's people that have done all 282, which is insane to me. This is my first one. It is not easy, but uh, hopefully it will be my last.
park um, we've got to go up and then back down a bit before we get to the top of our first Monroe but yeah visibility is not great don't like the look of down there um, but yeah smashing it <laughs> Well, not great visibility, but I've done it and nobody can take that away from me. So, cheers my, to my first Munro. So after completing our two Munros, we are finally on our descent and we've made it to the Hidden Valley, which makes this <laughs> totally worth it because check out this view. Like, I'll never get tired of this. <laughs> Is just up there and up there you can't really see the peak but I'm a broken person just completed my first Monroe and my second Monroe. I am broken <laughs> um, but I'm so glad I did it. I am, I'm actually quite proud of myself. It is something that's completely out of my comfort zone. I pushed myself to the limits and I achieved something that's been on my list for a really long time and I'm just super happy. It wasn't the best weather but I've got two Monroe's bags. Um, it took us just over nine hours. God knows how many steps, um, but I did it. Um, I know this is not the normal video uh, that you guys are used to seeing on my channel, but I really hope you enjoyed coming along with me. Um, if seeing me struggling on Monroe's is something you wanna see me do more often, then please comment below and let me know. Um, but yeah, please give this video a big thumbs up because I, I did it and <laughs> I'm so chuffed.